Hey everyone, this is for the love of hiking. I just wanted to take a brief moment before this video to thank you all. The channel just broke 5,000 views and over 30 subscribers, which I never would have expected when I first started all this. Thank you for your interest and feedback on my channel, and for your interest in the natural world around you. I am currently working on a new video featuring the local section of the Outer Banks and connected waterways here in North Carolina, and hope to have it up before long. For now, I would like to give you all a quick overview of a project I have been working on to make exploring even easier. Thanks again, and stay tuned. Alright, so here at camp, uh, where I'm going to stay for the night, this is my 97 Jeep Cherokee Limited, or Grand Cherokee Limited, I should say. Um, I've done some modifications to it, added some stuff. Um, front is mostly the same, other than Brownie's got her side over here with her seat and all that. Um, kind of her space and then in the back here I've actually built a sleeping platform um, you'll see it better from the back but um, this is my bedding here I got my sleeping bag and an extra blanket pillow sleeping pad and then underneath I put some of this insulative material I've used in a few different projects for this uh, just for extra padding and protect my sleeping pad and then the compartment flips open the other one does too I'll show you in a minute uh, this is just where I can store like my laptop camera stuff anything you know I want to keep safe and out of the way uh, another compartment I just got paper towels in there at the moment um, left some space for a step and spot to store my slippers Flip this back down and I'll show you the rest of what I got going on here. Um, I've also got an extra blanket in the back just in case it gets a little colder. Uh, this is like toilet trees and pa toilet paper, uh, longer stuff like a snow brush, uh, cooking rods, um, the hydraulics on the um, hatch don't work right now. I got to replace them so I just got this rod and I'll stick that in there too. Uh, got a couple bins I can pull out here. Um, this is mostly like just my cooking stuff, cook set, uh, utensils, extra fuel. And then this is kind of miscellaneous and some extra dishes. Uh, I've got a couple towels in the back. And it all slides under. Uh, and then I also put in these drawers, as you might have noticed. Um, I'll probably replace the top two with a buckle like this eventually, but for now, these work. Um, I've got just extra clothes, uh, sleeping bag, stuff sack, an extra tarp, um, my next couple days worth of clothes, and then I've also made window screens for the back windows for when bug season hits. Uh, here I've got another small thing of drawers. This is just where I kind of keep like my camera stuff if I want to keep it easy access. Um, I've got my power bank and battery powered fan in this drawer. Um, this is just like my uh, reflective insulative thing I made for cooking food and then toiletries go on the top So that adds a good bit of storage too And then over on this side, I ended up actually insulating this compartment um, This is where I store my food and it's not meant to be like a cooler or anything like I wouldn't put ice in here or Like try to like keep it at a lower temperature, but this just helps like any food I have in here not to fluctuate in temperature quite so much as the Jeep heats up or cools down, you know, depending on what I'm doing. So that just folds back down. And I just got a bunch of extra junk kind of stuffed in there for now. But yeah, that's most of it. Um, that's kind of the general idea. Oh, and then I also made um, some window inserts. I put a couple of them in. You can see kind of how they, they're not a perfect fit, but close enough. And uh, they're cardboard with the insulative material on the inside. Uh, just to try to keep, you know, some of the heat and or cold out or in the Jeep. Uh, add a little bit of insulation to the Jeep. So, I think that's most of what I got going on so far. But uh, it definitely provides me quite a bit of storage. Um, I mean, at night if I really wanted to, I could even move Brownie's seat back here, you know, and have her stay in the back with me. Um, normally when I'm driving, that's where I kind of secure the cooler. Which, for now, I've just got sitting up by the front tire. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, it's coming along pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it lets me sleep comfortably and, uh, I don't have to like set up camp every time. It's kind of set up as soon as I park the car. 
So um, this will be uh, one of my new setups for camping uh, that you might see in future videos. Uh, and I just wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of how I put everything together and you know what I've got going on here.